bit of an update on the head tracking. Uh, I've not bothered putting the cockpit in the um, wing this time, so I've not really got time to be honest. It's quite late, but as you can see, I have no wires attached to my goggles, and there are no wires on my controller anymore. We now have completely wireless head tracking which is pretty cool. It's not quite as responsive as it was before. I will honestly say that. We've getting if I move my head there and then yeah you get, I'm getting a bit of jerkiness and jumping about as though not all the packets are getting in is something I'm noticing. But other than that, I mean I suppose if I might should be holding this oh gosh yeah oh that's interesting. If I hold me oh dear I want to do that when I have my transmitter down here because if I hold my transmitter oh dear Right, yeah, okay. <laughs> so that's that's probably because it's transmitting on lots of lots of power at the moment. Uh, but yeah, it, it works. It's nice not having that extra cable around my head. I mean, I tend to have a cable on my transmitter anyway, and then sometimes I have, I have a gla my glasses hanging down my neck as well. So having a one less cable is quite nice. Um, but yeah, it's not as response you can see it sort of oh jumps over so if you look so if I put me know quickly I did it that way and that work it's not it's definitely not as responsive as it was with the cable so I don't know if anything can be done about that but otherwise yeah worked I did have to flash <laughs> rather other firm goggle firmware ELS backpack firmware on both the transmitter and the goggles and the, tran the Express LOS transmitter firmware that was exciting, uh, but uh, yeah, it works. Okay, enough of that. I shall power down.